All right, we are on the home stretch. We finally made it to question seven, the last question, but of course it has multiple parts. So let's jump in with part A. Using Euler's formula, prove that cos of theta, which you can see over here on the left-hand side, is equal to um, this unusual result on the right-hand side that involves the uh, exponential form of a complex number, e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta on two. Now this question actually isn't too dramatic, a lot of you were able to do it successfully, but uh, it's really important that I emphasize, because this wasn't always done well, um, the fact that we need, let's get this highlight of the right color, um, we need to uh, make sure that the our reasoning in our proof is really clear because when someone says prove that something is the case, um, you need to show the logic, you can't skip any steps. Um, things that you might have normally have thought are, oh, this is just a given, I don't need to say why this is true, um, I don't need to provide the substantiation for my claim, um, it's really important that you don't skip over any of that. So let me show you the way that I solve this. If you come over to my solution, you can see um, I've begun with Euler's formula. Um, e to the i theta equal cos theta plus i sine theta. And by the way, um, this is one of the reasons why uh, several students in an earlier question forgot that when you have uh, a complex number, an arbitrary complex number in exponential form, um, it should have an r out the front uh, because this is uh, this enables you to be um, any distance from the origin and any argument um, around the origin. However, Euler's formula um, is stated just with a complex number who has a or that has a modulus of one. So um, that's what Euler's formula looks like um, as stated uh, traditionally. So if that's e to the i theta, then e to the i negative theta is, and uh, this is a step right here that was skipped by many, many students, it's cos of negative theta plus i sine of negative theta. So what am I doing here? Um, I am just using Euler's formula to convert straight from exponential form to trigonometric form, to uh, polar form. Now, the step that was skipped is uh, going on to this next one, right? So this that I've highlighted here, this fact that I take this argument, negative theta, and I just substitute it in to the two spots where the argument should be, that was often skipped. And the reason why that was an issue is because if you just assume it's going to be equal to this, then the proof is quite trivial and you haven't really shown all the reasons why it actually works. So what I've done um, from my line here is to say that cos of negative theta, cos being an even function, um, by definition, let's use it in orange over here, an even function has f of negative x being equal to f of x, so cos is an even function, x squared, actually any x with an even power is an even function, that's why they're called even functions in the first place. So therefore, I can do this substitution here, um, and then in a similar way, I've got i sine of negative theta, sine by contrast is an odd function. So its definition um, for oddness is that f of negative x doesn't give you f of x, that's even symmetry, it's negative f of x out the front, which you can see I have substituted in here. So that was an important uh, thing to state. Uh, better responses always gave us the reason why you could make this substitution, so that's the first piece. I now know what e to the i theta and e to the negative i theta can be substituted for, so that's me putting this in here, and the imaginary parts here are simply going to cancel because we have e to the i theta and e to the negative i theta being conjugates of each other. So that's why both of these terms go. That leaves you with double the real component, so that's why you can see the two cos theta over here on the left hand side. I want cos theta to be the subject, so I might as well get it over there. Uh, I've got e to, the egg, uh, e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta, um, which I got from the left hand side, no change there. And then I just divide through by two. So this was a pretty straightforward two marks.